the motto that seems part three <laughs> and undoubtedly by the time this video publishes there will be a part four the motto that I have to commend Project Veritas they certainly know how to string along an audience like the rest of media and I commend them for it but I don't want to comment any more on their segments I thought this last one included some more interesting voices and audio clips but there's only so many videos you can react to instead I would like to get philosophical with you viewer if I may for a moment no script just off the cuff you see while I was dreaming over the last few nights prancing through the Ukrainian wheat fields I thought about something insightful George Bush once said. Yes, I know. Now, Bush is not exactly known for his eloquence. Nonetheless, he did have a phrase that stuck with me. He said, it's the soft bigotry of low expectations. And throughout these Project Veritas videos they've been publishing, I perhaps maybe am the biggest bigot of all. As all the videos they have shown or revealed shock me very little and I wonder if that's because I have such low expectations of the media that to me what I'm viewing on these Project Veritas videos are just the normative laziness and human biases that permeate throughout all of media it's business as usual to me and perhaps that just reveals if I were to reflect upon myself for a moment my own soft bigotry but there's another philosophical, another request of Project Veritas. After all, its name is Truth. And my request is for them to release the full audio or leaked footage of each individual they recorded. Editing is a powerful tool to create narratives. I think our most popular genre of American television is a testament to the power of editing. Reality TV shows are nothing not day-to-day -day mundane lives edited to some sort of conflict or dramatic narrative. The best way I can couch this argument perhaps to Project Veritas if you're watching or to you the viewer is that I really enjoy listening to Dr. Jordan Peterson. I think what he has to say is insightful and challenging and I enjoy a great deal when media companies release the full unedited interviews they do with them, often at expense to the Channel 4 News or wh whomever is interviewing Jordan Peterson. But I respect the media company a great deal when they do so because it allows me, the viewer, to consume the piece of content entirely within its context. And I would gently plead with Project Veritas to release the full interviews or the full undercover footage they have with, with each CNN employee so that I and you and we could all consume with the great context, what what in entirety the CNN employee said? What was the beginning of their conversations? How did they end? What were the interactions like? And I don't mean to suppose any sort of malintent in the editing that Project Veritas is doing, but if they really stand for truth, I would implore Project Veritas to release all the leaked audio and footage, release them in their full unedited clips so that we can consume them and understand them as they are in its entirety. At least, philosophically, I think I would like that. And perhaps you would enjoy that as well. Because these Project Veritas videos, while they're insightful, they often ask more questions than they answer. But I put it to you, viewer, as well. Would you like Project Veritas to release the full, unedited audio and clips that they have? Would you find it insightful? Leave a comment down below. If you're watching this Project Veritas, which I surely doubt you are, I I'd love for you to release it. I think I would find the entire exchange is fascinating and illuminating. After all, editing is a tricky business, and narratives can be maligned or taken out of context, even unintentionally. Just some thoughts. Thanks for watching, guys. Click like or subscribe. I'm going to embed in a video here, but I never do because I make these after work. I'm usually pretty tired. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.